Doesn't it drive you crazy when online videos start and stop? Of course it does. But who delivers the fastest internet speeds? It's a hotly contested question, and it can be hard to get a straight answer. But now Netflix is offering new data on their customers' download speeds on a site called Netflix ISP Index. Does it settle the age-old Time Warner versus Fios versus Cablevision debate? Tech reporter and host of Tech Buzz, Haley Sukiyama, is here to discuss. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, so we get some information about the relative speeds of these different uh, providers. What did we learn? So if you kind of look at the chart here, yes. uh, there's a clear winner with Cablevision Optimum and a clear loser down there with uh, Verizon DSL. And, and that's then, the Verizon if you can't get Fios. Exactly. But then if you look at you know Verizon Fios, Cox, Time Warner Cable, they're all clustered pretty tightly in the middle there. So it turns out there's not that much difference uh, depending on what choices you got. And we should say that there are a number of other companies that we've grayed out here. They're, they're less prominent, but you can go onto the site and see the providers that are available to you. But one that we grayed out, and take a look at this, when we add Google Fiber, and of course that's only available in a really tiny handful of communities, but it is much, much faster than what everyone else is offering. Yeah, so Google Fiber can advertise up to a, a gigabit of speed, which is basically just a lot. <laughs> it's yeah. a really high speed. Um, and certainly, people are trying to get more gigabit communities in the US, but as Google Fiber is showing in Kansas City, you know, it's a, it's a small test case, and, um, and so they're just trying to build it out. One thing that I think everyone will notice is that these speeds are much slower than what they're supposed to be. Sure. So actually, advertised versus actual speed in broadband is a, is a big kind of gap that people always talk about. Um, cable companies are able to advertise basically the peak speed or the ideal speed that their network can deliver. But in terms of actual speeds, you know, you got to average it out across the network, and your speed will vary a lot depending on who else is on your network and what time of day. And the other thing we should mention is that Netflix is not a disinterested observer when it comes to internet speeds. Sure. So Netflix alone makes up like a third of the U.S.'s internet traffic. Wow. So uh, you know they have a really vested interest in making sure that people know how fast their internet speeds are, that people have access to high-speed internet, and you know kind of nudging these companies into providing those speeds. Nudging, a polite term. <laughs> Haley, thanks a lot. Anytime. If you want to do your own comparison, uh, the website for that data is ispspeedindex.netflix.com. That'll do it for us for tonight. We will fold things up. Hope to see you back here tomorrow.